What is up, fellow music fans? Jameer Fan 2000 here with yet another video of Jameer Reviews. Now, in the past, most of my Jameer Reviews have been about uh, miscellaneous Jameer Kawhi releases, but this video in question is going to be for another band who I've been following since the early 2000s, and of course, I'm talking about the Follow Wills, the Kings of Leon, which has been one of the best, most consistently great American rock bands since 2002, when uh, they came out with their highly critically acclaimed debut album, Youth and Young Manhood, and when you heard them, you didn't really realize there were three brothers from um th three brothers who were just in their 20s they sounded like they had been around for a very long time like a bit of a buffalo springfield sounding southern rock group but uh over the extent of nearly nine album releases kings of leon have gotten into a niche of being one of the most consistently great american rock bands out there in the pop mainstream well it just so happens in 2024 they released their highly anticipated ninth album of course the hilariously titled can we please have fun and this album is a smorgasbord of different mu different musical directions not to mention a very awesome return to form for the band, but I will be getting to my review of that new Kings of Leon album and the second half of this episode of Jamira Reviews. In the first half, I'm going to be talking about a signed copy of the CD that went up for sale on the early Kings of Leon remodeled uh, website about two or three months ago, back in March, and I just so happened to buy a copy of the autographed CD copy. Now, they were selling autographed CD and autographed vinyl copies, but they are in very limited quantities, so you had to buy, you know, buy, you had to buy now pretty much and I just so happen to have ordered one of the CD copies. So I thought I'd do in the first half of this video a look at the signed CD copy. Now, Can We Please Have Fun is an absolutely exceptional album. And uh, their first new album after having left RCA Records after nearly eight album efforts, the last two albums, 2020's When You See Yourself and, of course, 20. 17's album Walls was seeing Kings of Leon kind of veering their southern rock sound in more of an introspective, retrospective direction, which was kind of a fresh breath of air given that they were a rockin', sockin' band for the majority of their first uh, several album releases. But, um, like I said, I'll be getting that in my album review. But here is the signed copy of Can We Please Have Fun for Kings of Leon, their ninth album, their first album under their new Capitol Records deal. And as you can see, these are real autographs. These aren't like DigiPen or Instapen. These are real. And here is the track list of the album. I'll put it up real close so you can see it. But uh, like I said, it is a great rock album, and I'm going to go ahead and crack it open so you can see the inside. Now, your basic CD on the inside is your basic Lily White, which has been a constant color with Kings Leon, but I'm going to go ahead and pull out the booklet. But... um. Overall, it's I, I love these I love Kings of Leon. Like I said, one of those consistent American rock bands. And as you can see, the autograph is absolutely. These are autographs from all the band members, or at least the three brothers of Kings of Leon. Um, and we're gonna open it up, and it's got some pretty amazing artwork. Uh, the inside um, CD line. It's basically a miniature poster. But as you can see, these are all the lyrics for all the songs. And if you roll it out, you get a nice bit of monochromatic poster of the boys. Um, of all the brothers of uh, the Follow Wills of the Kings of Leon. And uh, like I said, this is an awesome release. It's really cool to see them doing autographed CDs and autographed uh, vinyls. I believe they're going to be doing a second restocking of these at kingsofleon.com. Just go to kingsofleon.com to order your potential um, signed copies on CD and limited edition colored vinyl um, of the new album from Can, uh, Can We Please Have Fun. Now the second half of this video is going to move into my review and thoughts of Kings of Leon's ninth new album from 2024, Can We Please Have Fun. And as I preface at the beginning of this episode of Jameer Reviews, um, this is my thoughts and um, impressions of the new ninth album from Kings of Leon, Can We Please Have Fun? And they do not disappoint, as I said earlier in this video. Uh, Kings of Leon are back to, with their newest album effort for 2024, the hilariously funnily titled, Can We Please Have Fun Now? Their follow-up to their last 2020 album, When You See Yourself, which ended their album deal with RCA Records and saw them join Capitol Records under a new album deal. Uh, I will keep this album review very brief but um it's uh can we please have fun is a the first kings leon album in a long time where they simply rock with swagger and i do mean swagger um the kind of swagger which which was pretty much on display on the other great american rock album we just recently had from the great american band pearl jam well they they're nearly i think it's their 14th or 15th album release called Dark Matter for 2024 had them returning to that very swaggerish rock that they were known for um very far distant from their grunge era um, sound back in the early days of like 10 but uh, I haven't seen any semblance of this um, um, 
early attribute of the Follow Wills since the somber embers of their uh, follow album to that amazing debut album from 2002 of Youth and Young Manhood called Aha Shake Heartbreak. You really can hear the enjoyment in the new music more on a present than ever. And this pretty much is the best ladder catalog album from Kings of Leon that I have ever heard. And I do mean that. I mean, it's just a simple, it's simply a joyous return of form for the guys. I'm so proud of them because every song on this album is has an identity, a reason, and has just pure euphoria for being alive flowing through and through. And like I said, this is one of the best albums from Kings of Leon in a number of years, given the subject matter of their most recent uh, several album releases being a little more somber, a little more retrospective, a little more introspective. So overall, I give this a 10 out of 10. This is a must-listen for any Kings of Leon fan, and a heck of a great beginning for Kings of Leon and their, their new Capitol Records uh, music deal. And um, like I said, the first, I dare say, in the first half of this album, from the first song to probably split second, uh, or split screen, I should say, is one of the best first half runs of Kings of Leon album. Nearly every song absolutely rocks. Um, Nowhere to Run, um, uh, I'd say Mustang, uh, there's a lot of songs on here that are instantly rememberable and are definitely album highlights, but Nowhere to Run is probably the big album standout from this album. So if you are interested in checking out this new album from Kings of Leon, I'll be sure to put down in the description area of this episode of Jameer Reviews uh, some stream links to the new Kings of Leon album so you can check it out in your own time. And if you decide to pick up the album for yourself, be sure to go to kingsofleon.com because they've got some pretty gorgeous vinyl uh, versions of this album that are currently available for you to order in your own time. But highly, this is definitely one of my top albums of the year for 2024. But as always, this is Jameer Fan 2000, and I hope you enjoy this episode of Jameer Reviews. If you like what you see, be sure to like and subscribe. Be sure to ding the bell on your YouTube to stay up to date on all the latest new videos coming from the Jameer Fan 2000 YouTube channel. I will thoroughly endeavor to bring you all the latest uh, great news about Jameer Kwai, and in some rare occasions about some of the bands I really do love. But as always, this is Jameer Fan 2000, and I'll see you really soon with more Jameer Kwai related content and musical content here on the Jameer Fan 2000 YouTube channel. Bye bye, everybody, and take care.